DeLorean BMC 12. Amazing design, but full uh, yeah, stainless steel body. So not rusting, but yeah, very heavy. So although it's looking very sporty with the galvin doors, but of course, oh, I'm loving these wheels. I love the design. Sport Helmenek is also there, but not for the future, so it is already the past. Back to the year 2000. Yeah. I'm just curious if this car would have been this popular nowadays as a classic. Uh, if it wouldn't have been the car for the Back to the Future videos, uh, movies, I mean. Beautiful, beautiful. The Lorigan. So Audi 80 B4, so the fourth generation. Looking lovely in white. So back then it wasn't the uh, most popular color in the trends uh, when it was old. Same as about the F355 Berlinetta. So I've usually seen seen this uh, F355 in uh, red and yellow, but in blue metallic. That's a very unusual car, at least in my opinion. But also definitely an amazing looking car. And here, the Audi 80. Wonderful coupe of the uh, 123 series. 1984, it's Samsung the license plate at least. And here, also one of these very rare cars, Mitsubishi Cordia Turbo. I've seen this one also uh, last time, I'm thinking in uh, Sindelfingen, at the Classics and Coffee after work. And here, also wonderful, I can remember I've seen this one in uh, Bad Liebenzell. Probably it was even this same one here. Ah, uh, beautiful Triumph GT6. Mark II. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, so now let's walk a little bit in reverse and uh, try to not fall down at the stairs here. So here you can see also the rear end of the Mark II. The Mark III was already having the uh, more modern uh, taillights, uh, which I can show you at the Spitfire just uh, yeah in a moment. <laughs> so, but here first of all, of course, you're seeing the Mitsubishi Cordia, which I'm thinking was two years ago. I was accidentally calling a Toyota Corolla. But well, these Cordias are also really rare, and here. The coupe of the 123 series 280 CE. And that's actually something that I was uh, not even noticing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Glenn pointed it out to me, and it's really true. So the, uh, the window here, the, it's more bent than uh, at, the, at the saloon. So, and here, guys, two wonderful Volkswagen Golf. The right one is a GTI 16 valve, the other one is uh, yeah, the Tour Special Edition and the Golf Mark II, that's for sure something that's coming, becoming more popular because these aren't the rust buckets like as the Mark III or the Mark I. And it's seeming there are still some around, as you can see here, of course, a G60, it's even G60 edition one. I think I've seen this one already a couple of times. Oh, this uh, is, of course, an Evo 2, I would say. Baby Benz, Mercedes Benz 190E, uh, 2.6, I would say. 16 watt, of course. Yeah, 2.5, huh? almost. <laughs> but with this is a big spoiler wing, it's of course, um, it's of course the Evo 2 Evolution 2. And here, wonderful Dino. So, it was not called to be a. Um, Oh, someone's coming. 
a Ferrari. So do you know what's the name of... What a big one, it's all nice. Nice Ferrari coming. I hope I get to see it because it's really full today. So, let's find out what it is. Dino GT. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful. And here, Porsche 1600 Super. It's a 356 uh, Speedster. Not sure if it's an original or maybe a replica. But I would say this one is uh, an original. Uh, this is probably the most unloved uh, Opel Kadett or Vauxhall Astra. Uh, yeah, Opel Kadett D. The most popular one is definitely the C. So the precess of this one. Oh, lovely color, blue metallic. So, but uh, it must be fast because there's a car coming now. I can remember this car here because, uh, yeah, I mean, not exactly this one, but uh, the Cadet D. Because, um, A friend of mine uh, back then, uh, he also had one like this, but he had a Cadet J, so the junior, so the base trim, <laughs> very much basic trim. Also wonderful, I can also remember that I've seen this one in last year, but uh, yeah, always wonderful to see. Wartburg 311, aka the Borgwart Isabella from the German Democratic Republic. And you can see also there's a lovely Stroke 8 Mini Cooper, bye bye. And you can see there's a lot of traffic jam over there. Everyone wants to come over here. It's really very full today, very full. I absolutely adore the F-Series of the Porsche 911, or Porsche 911 to be more precise. And I need to take some care about my pronunciation. But actually I'm, only, I'm also always saying Porsche when I'm speaking in English, I don't know why. 911T. Automatic guys. And there's here's a GT3 Porsche 911. But you guys, this is something uh, you do not get to see this often. Uh, McLaren Supercar Garage. Huh? McLaren Specialist Number One. Okay. I have no idea what uh, model it is, but yeah. Definitely looking amazing, and it's of course a supercar that, <laughs> unlike the Porsche 911, it's also a very nice car. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is something more special in my opinion. So, take a look at this, guys. This here is the Red Pig. I'm thinking with this license plate, it's even the original one, but I could be wrong about that. Or maybe all of them are actually replicas. But take a look at these fat wheels. <laughs> so, the Red Pig, the first uh, AMG car. Back when AMG was still doing the races, as you can also see here. So, I will stand something. Number 14, definitely still used for racing. It's 300 SEL. Sorry guys, I have some issues filming you now because of the people. Really an amazing car, amazing. So guys, and here a Porsche 356A. Um, but these are not the speedsters. Here we have two cabriolets, you can tell by the, uh, yeah, the windshield. It's a little bit different, not as roundish as it is for the roadster, at uh, the speedster, I mean. Wonderful color. 
of take a look guys so 1600 engine so back then uh, Porsche wasn't the yeah the pretty fast car but on the other hand I mean cars haven't been fast back then beautiful beautiful so just back at the um, at the Porsche 356 Spider, so you can see here, so it's just here very roundish, so that's very different to the Cabriolet. And there you can see, wow, amazing Opel records. And lots of cars are still coming, of course, all the modern ones, because, yeah, <laughs> like I told you, today is coffee run, so lots of people are coming. And of course, we also have a lovely weather. Here's a BMW Luxus, I think it's a 700 or 750, I'm not so certain right now. Um, the bumpers are painted in the grey metallic. So a little bit darker than silver I would say. So it's looking kind of like plastic in my opinion. So yeah, as you can see here. So perhaps not the best choice. I'm thinking usually bumpers are chrome. I, I would say this is a Ferrari F388. Um, oh, 488. 488, of course. Oh, sorry. I would say it's a Bentley, but say, uh, Rolls Royce. Oh, he's using cool coolant. 